Today we're going to talk about add-ons that can help you save time and work more effectively when presenting products, shooting cinematic shots, or anything of that nature. We're going to start with Autofocus Pro. When it comes to camera focus in Blender, it is quite a hard task. Even though the software made it easier, as you can pick any object to focus on, but the thing is, it will actually focus on the origin of the object, which makes the focus seem off in some cases. Still, you can focus on an empty and keep animating it manually, but to make the result look realistic, it is kind of time consuming. That's where autofocus comes into play by allowing you to focus automatically on any object in the scene. In addition to switching focus, selecting the focus area by simply drawing a bounding box, also you can have a realistic focus transitions using a variety of settings and much more. We also have CinePack, which is a large collection of fully customizable professional camera moves and you can work with them inside Blender. It includes over 100 camera moves organized into 9 categories, which are cinematic, chaotic, FPV, flyovers, pushes, pulls, pans, zooms, and finally extras. With a new custom UI, CinePack is a great time saver as it makes it very simple to choose and import presets with only one click as well as the new search bar and camera target select that were also implemented with the new add-ons UI. As I said, these pre-animated cameras are fully customizable. You can either use them as they come or use the camera moves as a groundwork. And this is the case if you want more complex animations. Next we have Photographer. This add-on features a new physical camera in addition to light settings and mixer interfaces for any light source in Blender. In addition to the newer versions of both Cycles and Eevee as well as LuxCore 2.5. Photographer gives you the possibility to manipulate real camera settings such as ISO, aperture, shutter speed, and EV value, which also allows you to control exposure and motion blur, in addition to white balancing with a viewport picker and using physical light units like lumen, candela, or lux with color temperature and presets. You also get viewport auto exposure, autofocus, and automatic lens shift for ArcVis renders. The newest version of the add-on comes with a lot of useful features such as multiple user-friendly interfaces to manage the lights, the emissive materials, high dynamic range images, and world materials. Also the addition of optical vignetting and bokeh texture support for cameras and much more. Real Camera Motion Library is another library of camera move presets divided into three general categories, which are idols, reframes, and motions. The library contains 40 main motion captured camera moves with 184 variations, each of them captured at 60 FPS for real motion. They include 24, 30, and of course 60 FPS animations with both raw and smooth motion versions and also the possibility to choose between translate plus rotate or rotate only the camera. There is a preview gallery folder with renders for each variation to move easily, browse and see what each of them does before importing. In addition to naming convention, using suffixes for easier identification such as L for the left hand version, TR for translate and rotate, and S for smooth, etc. As the name suggests, Real Camera is an add-on that allows you to control the Blender cameras. It is almost like a real camera inside Blender. This will allow you to have control over many features that real cameras have. For example, it will enable you to have a real camera like autofocus and exposure when rendering your projects. There are some other settings like aperture, shutter speed, and focal length. But the main point of this add-on is the auto exposure and autofocus. Unlike using real cameras, there are certain features that can be replicated and controlled using the same principles. For instance, a higher number of aperture gives a sharper image. And there are certain correlations between those features. For example, shutter speed affects motion blur, etc. Next we have Shot Manager, which is an add-on designed to speed up the render management and shot design by saving frame ranges, render cameras, view layers, and output paths. Also, it is perfect for splitting up a single timeline animation for game animation and multi-cam rendering setups. To clarify, this is one of the Blender camera add-ons that has been originally developed for this specific project. After that, it has been further developed to cover a range of render tasks for ease of mind and improving render management on complex projects. Overall, it makes it easier to organize shots without needing to save out separate blend files. 
Above all, it is great for both mid and large size productions. It can help you create shots and keep all the cameras and assets in one file or use shots to separate complex render setups and automate render paths. This add-on is being maintained to support new Blender versions along with small fixes and upgrades. Now we're gonna talk about Quake Motion Camera. It is considered one of the best Blender add-ons when it comes to this because it makes animating handheld cameras for your scenes extremely easy, adding extra realism to your camera shots. It comes with a lot of handy camera tools like Camera Shake, Camera Switcher, Camera Motion, and so much more. This add-on comes with a simple and clean interface with three panels, which are Quake Camera Shake, Quake Camera Tools, and Quake Motion Camera, and they will allow you to animate your cameras easily. With 15 more camera shake presets that were added, there are now different many camera movements presets available. For example, there is pan camera, which is suitable for flight shots and that involves waving from side to side. On the other hand, the racing camera simulates shots made by moving the objects, such as vehicles for racing or fast movements. The developers have added 30 more camera motions like car chase, fast car chase, first person look, and so on in addition to the new random motion and shake generators, which can respectively generate over 500 motions and camera shakes. Also, there is the possibility to create unique shakes or motions using the new Quake Custom Shake and Quake Custom Motion. Next, we have Shotlist. It is one of the Blender camera add-ons that allow you to do very simple, yet very time-consuming camera work, especially if you're gonna do it yourself manually. It can be basically used to create, manage, and navigate camera shots in Blender, but it will be easier and quicker than usual. The way it works is very simple. You can just add a new shot, jump to the next or previous shot, or a specific shot real quick. In addition to other basic stuff like naming or renaming shots, removing individual shots or all the shots. And of course, there are some other functions that you can use. Next, we have Cable Cam. It is an add-on designed to allow you to create cinematic sweeping camera moves, and you can do that easily using the three-axis control system. You can use this Blender add-on to create cinematic shots of buildings, cars, or events such as sports. This add-on was created to make things simple, and using it is also very simple. First, you need to choose where you want the camera to look in the scene. Then choose where you want the camera to be at at the moment, and then correct your horizon with the rotation control. In order to have more control over how the camera will be moving, you can create a path that it will follow. This can be a straightforward line or curve with multiple curves or turns. This could also mean sweeping around your subject in a cinematic fashion, doing effortlessly slow tracking in on your subjects to build tension in your scene. We also have Quick Shot. This is one of the fastest and one of the most effective Blender camera add-ons for creating cinematic shots, especially when it comes to product presentation with all its camera moves and angles that make your work look professional and satisfying. QuickShot allows you to control camera movements perfectly by moving faster or slower, rotating or moving sideways depending on your needs in addition to cutting to the next shots automatically, which is the secret behind a cinematic product visualization that you see in commercials. It also allows for both spline base and linear interpolation, which just means you can have the camera motion ease in or ease out or travel at a fixed rate. If you are interested in one of these add-ons, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.